Hey everybody, guess who? Al from Al's Hot Rod Shop. Uh, if you watched the previous videos, I've been working on a uh, small block Chevrolet 355 cubic inch. Came out of my kid's S10. He ran for about four years. Uh, on the motor, it ran like 1140s. And uh, with a 200 shot of nitrous, it would run 10 O's. Well, he went the LS route, so uh, this was sitting around, so I bought it. If you watched the two other previous videos, it shows the whole motor all apart, shows you all the parts that were going into it, shows you where the build was actually going for, and I got the crown jewel right behind me. Um, there's a little bit of old school with new school technology. It sounds awesome. It looks fucking bitchin'. And uh, without taking too much time, I'll move out of the way so you can see this little gem. There she is. Looks mint, don't it? Let me get you the can't whoop. Hold on. So what we have is a uh, Holly Pro Dominator intake. They haven't made these in quite a while. Really hard to come by. It's got two Holly 660 center squirters. And the valve covers are the old Cal Custom way back in the day. These are vintage. Um, and they're in awesome shape. Look how great they look. And then the new school stuff is um, it's got the MSD distributor to help it make sure it fires well. I always like running electric water pumps on them. You know, if you don't like that, you always can change it up yourself. It's got the GM fast burn cylinder heads, the newest technology in the uh, cylinder heads that they have. Those heads alone are like 1700 bucks brand new for the cylinder heads. And um, the carburetors and the intake and the valve covers and everything. I got a uh, vapor honing cabinet. I do everything right here in-house, rebuild everything myself. Let me show you the inside of the carburetors. The inside of the carburetors, you know, they're like brand new. I went through everything. The um, got all the throttle linkage on it. It's got a uh, SFI approved uh, flex plate. Things got like 11, almost 11 to one for compression. The camshaft's pretty big. Um, it's got low lift. It's like 550, 560 on the lift. Uh, it's got a lot of duration at 50. It's uh, 260, 268. It's on a, on a 102 center line. So it is snappy. Uh, sounds like you're making popcorn. So imagine pulling into a car show. You got that cool bitch and tunnel ram on there, the valve covers. And then once I fire this thing up, you'll hear the exhaust on it. It just sounds super good. So I got to open up the garage before we can fire this thing up. So hold on. So I got to put the camera down for a second so we can uh, fire this thing up. So hold on. There's the oil pressure. It's got a um, gear drive set up in it, so you can actually hear the little wind out of the gears. Listen. You see the throttle response? The thing just wants to jump off the engine stand. Watch. Does that sound badass? got solid lifters in it. You hardly can hear it. I'll you know, put the mic down there. Here, I'll let you hear. Listen to the camshaft. I can listen to that all day. Isn't that badass sounding? Listen to that thing. Oh, that is bitchin'. Throttle response is amazing. 
just getting a little loaded up from wailing on the throttle. But uh, it sounds great. It's got electric pump on it. It's getting a little worn. Let me turn the pump on. There's the oil pressure. Watch the throttle response. And that's just hitting the throttle a little bit. Watch. Yeah, some of you are wondering, what is a center squirt of carburetor? Well, I'll show you right now. Watch right in the center of the carburetor, right here. Instead of, putting a, instead of putting a squirter here and on the end, let me get this. Usually to put a squirter right here on the ends, well this was right dead center. Well, watch it spray some fuel. Sprays on both sides. That's where the center squirter comes in. Those carburetors are old school. Um, you can buy new ones, but these are back in the day. <laughs> Uh, old, so uh, everything on here is old, uh, except for the stuff down at the bottom. <laughs> the uh, got the rotating assembly. The crank is rated for a thousand. The rods are worth uh, are good for a uh, 700 horsepower. Here, let me li let you listen to the cam again. Sounds badass, brother. So that is it. Um, if you're interested in it, give me a call at 413-204-1390. Also can send a text. Um, when you put a motor together, it's not like a TV show. When you go to fire these things up, they just don't start up and run mint. That's why you got on the engine stand. Uh, you always have some kind of oil leak, a water leak, a fuel leak. The carburetors don't run right. Well, all that is done. It runs fantastic. It looks even better. Um, so if you have any questions, I'm going to put it online with a price. And there's a bunch of other pictures all will be on there. Uh, give me a call. Thanks for looking.